Good day, mate. This is QD Clinic. Hi, I'm Jack Cush, executive editor of RoomNow.com. This month, QD Clinic is devoted to psoriatic arthritis. If you haven't signed up, tomorrow night, Tuesday night, the 19th, we have a fabulous panel discussion at 7 p.m. Eastern Time, Controversies in Psoriatic Arthritis, featuring Chris Richland, Daphne Gladman, Peter Nash, Joe Marola, and Jose Scher. It's going to be lively. You should sign up for that webinar. Today's case, a 57-year-old with psoriasis and psoriatic arthritis. He is taking Humira and Diclofenac. The gentleman has had psoriasis since in his mid-20s and psoriatic arthritis for the last 10 years. He's previously been treated with methotrexate Humira, now on Embro. Oh, by the way, he also has HIV and his HIV is well controlled on uh, uh, HRT, and uh, he's doing not so well today. In fact, last few visits, his joints are okay, but his skin has gotten worse. And his dermatologist saw him, sent him back to me to say, maybe we need a better drug than etanercept, because etanercept is good at the joints in PSA, so-so at the skin in PSO. Uh, and the question is, what can you safely use in a gentleman who has HIV? You know, his arthritis and disease is pretty well established, um, mainly oligoarticular asymmetric disease involving the PIPs, toes, occasionally a knee, occasionally some enthesitis, psoriasis, nail changes. He's B27 negative. Um, and now he has nail findings and he has some uh, scaly plaques at his elbows um, and uh, over his knees. So the question is, well, what can we safely do? Lab-wise, he's always done well. His CD4 counts are above 400. So I don't know if you have a list, but I thought I would review with you my list of what I will use. And I think that, you know, back, I remember back almost like in my fellowship or residency that there was an Annals of Internal Medicine report that said, oh, you can't use you know, methotrexate and azathioprine in uh, HIV patients because they're, you know, they'll progress rapidly to AIDS and get sick. And that turns out not to be true. Um, and so I have used, you know, DMARDS therapy, and that would include a primalast and a methotrexate uh, in patients. But, you know, why when those are marginally effective compared to the biologics? So TNF inhibitors are very safe in HIV PSA patients. He's been on two of them. We're going to move on, right? The next class that works really well with safety has been the IL-17 inhibitors, the IL-12-23 inhibitors, and now the IL-23 inhibitors all have been safely used in patients who are HIV positive and have uh, either psoriasis or psoriatic arthritis. And when I say, I mean safely, meaning that there's no worsening of their HIV status. Right, their CD4 counts don't change. They do not get more opportunistic infections. As you know, with the IL-17 drugs, there's a marginal increase in oral candidiasis that might go up even a little bit more with the dual IL-17 inhibitors, um, and that's something to watch for. And that has not yet been studied. So I'm talking about bimikizumab um, as an I, a dual IL-17 inhibitor, inhibiting IL-17A and IL-17F, but. This is not really a concern, though, uh, candidiasis in patients who are on, for instance, TNF inhibitors or the IL-23 inhibitors. So that's my um, list of safe-to-use drugs in patients who are um, having active disease, either from their skin or their joints, um, from psoriasis, but also are HIV positive. Tune in for more great cases on QD Clinic. Sign up for that webinar, Controversies in PSA, Tuesday night the 19th, 7 p.m. Eastern.